So let's begin. Here after home you can see an option called insert. Click on the insert button and on the right hand side you can see uh, option for the equation. So click on the option equation. In this you can write the equation. So for example if you want to write this expression. So type f in the bracket d which is equal to. So over here there is a fraction. So you can go back to the design. In the design you can click on the fraction. There are four different ways you can write a fraction. So I will be considering the option 1. In this case this is 1 and in the denominator you have square root of 2 pi. So again you can go to the design and you can see a third option is for square root. So again there are four different options. So choose uh, because we are using a square root so choose the first option. Over here you can type 2. Now you need a symbol for the pi. So in this area you can see there are different symbols given. So for example this is a symbol for pi. So click on the pi. Now you need to come out of the square root part and write down. Uh, so is a D and then after D there is another symbol sigma. So you can see over here there is a symbol sigma. After that now you need to write exponential. So I will try, type it using a keyboard exp different types of bracket which you can be used. So here we'll be using a square bracket. In the square bracket you start with the negative sign. This is sign negative and then again you need a fraction. So again go back to the fraction. Choose this one. Now over here you need a bracket which you can use either keyboard or you can take, uh, select it from the design menu. Type ln d minus ln again you need a bracket so go back to the bracket and this is the fourth option this is the angle bracket type the d in the denominator 2 now you need to write a square of sigma so for that you need to choose a second option script in the script there are four different options we need to use a superscript so use a superscript the denominator square of sigma so 2 that's it. Now over here you can see the difference. Uh, this ln term is in uh, is not in italic. So what you can do is select the ln term and use Control I so that it will be non-interval. Again the same, and that's it. It's quite simple, and I hope you like it. If you like it, do share and subscribe. Thank you very much.